Canadians can invest in the U.S. stock market tax-free? We'll stay to the end and I'll tell you how it works. So hey everyone, my name is James Baker. I'm an international tax consultant. I work with, base, I'm based in the U.S. and I work with clients from all over the world. And I'm making this video today because I've been talking to a lot of Canadian accountants. I've been talking to Canadian residents and I'm putting this out here as something that I think works and I I'm making a shout out for all my Canadian tax attorneys to comment and let me know if you want to make a collab video with me because I think this works and I think there's a way that Canadians can invest in the U.S. stock market tax free or maybe I could say how Canadians can be day traders in the stock in, in the stock market and pay no taxes. Whatever you want to say, I'm talking to Canadians and I'm talking about the U.S. So uh, a little background for you here. In the U.S., if you are a non-resident, you can invest in the U.S. stock market and pay no taxes on capital gains. You'll pay taxes on dividends, but you won't pay taxes on capital gains. So if you're a Canadian and you live in Mumbai or you live in Panama, or you live in uh, Africa or Australia or whatever, um, if you have a brokerage account in the U.S., you can buy and sell and you won't pay taxes on your capital gains. It's written in the tax code. I have other videos about it. It's pretty black and white. It's pretty understood. I think it's understood that Canadians living outside the U.S. can do that. What I'm talking to here is the people we didn't know about. These are Canadians living in Canada. So in Canada, the LLC is looked at like a corporation. So if I own a corporation, the corporation pays tax. I don't pay tax unless I take money from the corporation. So if you have a Canadian person and he has an LLC and it's in the U.S., and it has a brokerage account and he's investing in stocks from the U.S. point of view, which is my my knowledge, this won't pay taxes in the U.S. Hey, I hope you're liking the video. If you got value from this video, I want to invite you to subscribe to the channel. It really helps. And I see that 90 percent of the people watching the channel are not subscribed. Also, if you have specific questions, comment below and I'll make separate videos about it. I'm happy to do that. Thanks for subscribing and I'll see you in the next one. Now, from the Canadian side, which is what we're talking about in this video specifically, it's great because since the U.S. LLC is taxed as a corp in Canada or seen as a corp, the Canadian won't pay tax on any of the trading profits or any of the money in there until the profits come back to the person. So theoretically, if you are day trading and you're making $200,000 a year, let's say you're making a million dollars a year, day trading, if you leave the money in your LLC, you can keep continuing to trade the same capital and invest the same capital and arguably better brokerage platforms with an offshore entity that potentially isn't taxable in Canada. Now, I've gotten different opinions. I've, I've talked to Canadian tax experts who say, yeah, you have to do a disclosure of the LLC, um, but you don't have to pay tax until you take the money out. But I've also heard from other people that you do have to pay tax on it, but I just don't I didn't. I haven't received any citations in either way. I think you can do it, um, and that's how it's done. And I'm making this short video because I think it can be done. And I really want a Canadian tax attorney to reach out to me and do a, a video, an interview with me, so we can get to the get to the bottom of this. I'm not going to jump into the Canadian tax code, but I will talk to someone and have them do it for me. I'll go in the U.S. tax code. I can't do two countries. In any case, we have a tax treaty with Canada. There's a lot of stuff going on between the U.S. and Canada. But in general, the U.S., if you're a foreign person, you can have a U.S. LLC and a U.S. brokerage account and not pay any taxes on your capital gain income. There are state taxes. But again, with Canadians, we have the death tax treaty. So it's not as much of a problem. So like, subscribe if you like this video and you want to see more like it. But really, if you're a Canadian tax person, comment below, email me. Let's have a call and tell me if I'm wrong. If I'm not wrong, I'm going to make a lot more videos like this. I'm going to do a lot of business helping uh, Canadians open open these uh, U.S. brokerage accounts because it, it's kind of hard. And it kind of sucks. Uh, we're having a lot of issues doing it. We get it done, but we have a lot of issues helping clients open brokerage accounts because uh, depending on which brokerage you want to work with, just because they're, they're really annoying. Um, it can be done, though, and there are a lot of options if you do it personally. The thing is you can't do it personally if you want to take advantage of this loophole that we're talking about here. So... I'll talk to you guys later. Appreciate your attention and hope this was a helpful video. Like, subscribe. See you later.